Hello and welcome. We are discussing chapter one, lesson two, solving equations by adding or subtracting. So a few key words there. Solving, that always means to try to find the answer, right? Equations, we talked about this last time. What are equations? Equations are something that have an equal sign. So like x plus one equals three as an equal sign, so that is an equation. Um, this is an algebraic equation. Remember, a uh, just a numeric equation would just be something involving numbers, like that, still equation. But this one, when you involve letters, is a, a algebraic equation, which is what we're gonna be um, learning about. So we're gonna be finding the answers of equations by adding or subtracting, using those two operations. Remember, adding and subtracting. Okay, so the objectives for today, solve one step equations in one variable by using uh, addition or subtraction. Okay, vocabulary equation, we're gonna kinda touch on this again. Um, equation is a mathematical statement that two expressions are equal, okay? So look here, if you just look at this x plus one, that's an expression, and three is an expression, so two expressions are equal. Um, here, up here, two plus four is an expression, six is an expression, they're two expressions that are equal to each other. Okay, uh, and then the solution of an equation is a value if the, uh, of the variable that makes the equation true. And uh, we will look at that, some different examples. Um, so the value of a variable that makes an equation too, I mean, uh, true. So if we go back up here and we take this equation right here we were looking at, x plus one equals three. Well, what's the value that makes this true? Well. If you think about it, well, what plus one equals three? Well, two. So if, if x equals two, two plus one equals three, that means x equaling two is the value that when you put it in there, it makes this equation true. So that would be the solution. Okay, that's what it's talking about, the solution. All right, so to find the solution of an equation, this is what we're gonna be working on. So whenever you wanna find the equation, this one was easy, so we we're just able to figure it out, but we're gonna be doing it using our algebra skills. And the first thing you always have to do is isolate the variable. Isolate the variable means get that variable by itself, that letter. So all, not x plus one, there's this plus one over here. We have to isolate x and get it by itself. So then once it's by itself, we just know what it equals, it equals two. In order to isolate the variable, you have to use inverse operations. So let's talk a little bit what inverse operations are. Well, the inverse operation of addition is subtraction and subtraction addition. They're inverse operations of each other. Uh, the inverse operation of multiplication is division and vice versa. Uh, the inverse operation of a number squ squared is a square root of that answer, that same number. Those are inverse operations of each other. And the more more uh, math you learn, the more and more inverse operations that you learn. Today we're just going to be talking about this one right here, using the inverse operations of addition and subtraction. Okay, but we'll soon get in there and then as this class progresses, we're gonna talk more and more about all different types of inverse operations. Okay, perfect. So let's look at our first example. Example one, solving equations by using addition. So we're gonna solve each equation and then we're gonna check our answer and remember to write the original equation, okay? In our check and I'll show you what I'm talking about by that. All right. So here with this question, um, x minus 10 equals four, we are trying to figure out what the solution is. We wanna figure out what x is. So that means we have to get it by itself. 
Well, um, what I like to look at this equation, it kind of separates the equation into two different halves. This is one half, this is the other half. Um, you want x by itself. Right now there's this minus 10, or it's like a negative 10 on this side. So we have to do the inverse operation of subtraction, which would be addition. So we're going to add 10 to both sides. The, the equal sign, this is one side of the equation, that's the other side. It's equal, that means everything's equal. So you have to do, if you do something to this side, you have to do it to the, that same, si same thing to this side as well to keep it um, equal. So negative 10 plus 10, those cancel. We're left with x by itself. I like to have my equal signs line up. 4 plus 10 is 14, and there's our answer. That is our solution. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check our answer, and remember we're going to write that original equation. The original equation is right here. First I'm going to write the word check, and then I'm going to write this original equation, x minus 10 equals 4. Okay, that's the piece I was talking, referring to right there. Make sure you write that first. Then, once that's written, then we're going to substitute this value in for x. So 14 minus 10 equals 4. Now we're going to do, just simplify. Um, we can simplify this 4. We can't really do anything with it, so it's going to stay over there. 14 minus 10 is 4 equals 4. This is a true statement. Okay, what this means is the value we plugged in for x, which is 14, um, it, it means that x equaling 14 is the solution to the equation x minus 10 equals 14. So that's what it means x equals 14 is the solution to the equation right there. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I think I'm going to take out a different color. So we're trying to get m by itself and isolate that variable m right there. Uh, to figure out if it's by itself, I'm going to divide this equation. So this is one side, that's the other side. Is m by itself? No, there's a negative one-fifth. So we need to get rid of that negative one-fifth um, by inverse operation. So the inverse operation of a negative would be a positive. We're going to add one-fifth to both sides. All right, one-fifth plus uh, two-fifths. Well, they have a common denominator. That's good. So we can just um, add the numbers on top. So two plus one is three would be three-fifths equals, have that equal sign lined up, m. And I always like to write the m on the left side. This is the symmetric property of equality way you can do that. So that is our solution, but we need to go ahead and check our answer. So I'm going to write the word check here. I'm going to write that original equation, 2 fifths equal m minus 1 fifth. All right, so I have that original equation highlighted. Now I'm going to substitute 3 fifths in for m. So rewriting the 2 fifths, m is equal to 3 fifths minus 1 fifth. 2 fifths is always already simplified, so I'm just going to leave that. And then I'm going to subtract these two um, fractions. Since they have a common denominator of 5, uh, that's, that's good. So that means all we need to do is just go 3 minus 1 on top, which is 2. And then we keep the number on the bottom. And that's a true statement, which means our solution, m equals 3 fifths, is the solution to the original equation, 2 fifths equals m minus 1 fifth. All right, perfect. Let's move on to the next example, C. C, we have n minus 3.2 equals 5.6. So again, we want to isolate that variable. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to get rid of, remember the two sides of the equation are right here. n is not by itself, there's a negative 3.2, so we need to add 3.2 to both sides. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. This is going to cancel. We're going to be left with n equals, and then we're just going to do this little addition. 6 plus 2 is 8. Bring down the decimal. 
3 plus 5 is 8. And there we have it. There's our solution right there. Now we're just going to go ahead and check our answer. So write that original equation. Okay, then we're going to substitute this value in for n. 8.8 minus 3.2 equals 5.6. All right, so I don't really know what this is right off the top of my head, so I'm gonna actually just move this work and do it right here, 8.8 .8 minus 3.2. Okay, eight minus two is six, bring down the decimal. Eight minus three is five, so the answer is 5.6 equals 5.6, which is a true statement, which means our solution is the answer to this original equation. Perfect. All right, on to the last one right here, D. So for D, negative six equals K minus six. We're trying to isolate K and get it by itself. Okay, uh, to do that, we are going to have to do the inverse operation of this negative six, which would be a positive six to both sides. All right, so here we go. We're gonna simplify negative six plus six is zero equals k, negative six plus six is zero. So wow, everything canceled out. I'm gonna go ahead, use the symmetric property of equality to switch that so my variable's on the left side. That's pretty much my answer right there, but let's go ahead and check it to make sure it's correct. So write check, write the original equation, negative six equals k minus six. Then we're gonna substitute that zero in for k and what do we get? Yeah, we simplify this, zero equals negative six, and we just get negative six equaling negative six, which is a true statement. So that means k equals zero is the solution to that original equation. All right, awesome job. Well, we will see you back in a little bit to look at example two.